One of the frameworks that I often share is called Spark. How do you get people to articulate the actual problem they're trying to solve, to share those insights? And what I love about Spark is it's a framework to prompt the human before the machine. Because what happens when we go straight to the machine, straight to the computer, the same way with kids, remember a long time ago when they used to create like iMovies and things, if they went straight to the movie, you got nonsense back. But they, they did the narrative, they did the scripting, they did all the pre-work, you ended up getting a much higher quality product. What's your situation? What's the problem you're trying to solve? My favorite, what's your aspiration? Like, why do you even care to create this experience or design this? What results are you looking for? And then Kismet led to GPT bring that moment of serendipity with what are some things you can suggest and what might I be missing? What is something I haven't really thought of that I should have on my radar if these are the results and aspirations that I have? I know how to do a lot more than Google Slides. I went ahead and just started playing around with things. Everything that she introduced, she introduced it in such a user-friendly way and made it sound like it was going to be so easy to do and she was right because once I started trying different AI platforms, I became obsessed with AI, and now I use it in my classroom. I've introduced it to my students. My students are very familiar with AI, and they know how to use it to enhance their work, not to do their work for them. So for somebody that went from, I barely know how to do Google Slides, to now I'm presenting and showing other teachers how to get on board with this feels really, really good. And a big part of that is Dr. Q, who really walked me through it and made everything seem so easy, and she was right. My teaching schedule is the same, but the workload that I have definitely feels a lot lighter now because I use AI so much. I rely on it to enhance my lessons for me. A brilliant solution to the wrong problem is worse than no solution at all. And so it's so important before we start any initiative, the temptation is often so there to start with all the technology and just begin immediately integrating it everywhere. But if we're creating amazing things, but we're solving the wrong problem, it ends up generating worse outcomes. This is actually what I love about Spark and what I love about is these are the ideas that we'll start to generate. So you could have a math teacher and an English teacher who now maybe don't have to have a aligned schedule with you know everything like you know done officially. They could just be like, hey, why don't we try this out? You do this, oh, I'm gonna do this. And now you've built capacity, you're building collaboration, and that is how you plant the seeds for that to become more formalized once more people start learning like, oh, we can actually do these things. It's also why I really believe that if you can just give people 30 minutes to actually share those, you know, situation, problem, aspiration, results, you have not only upskilled people in their prompting practices, but you've also challenged them and given them the opportunity to imagine and really think about what it is they really would like to see. And I really liked Saba's session mainly just for kind of recognizing the role that AI can play. I thought she had a really good perspective on some of the, the tools and questions and how we kind of need to rethink how we're developing lessons and thinking about assessment. I thought that was really refreshing and honestly what we need right now. What is your human advantage in an AI world? When machines can do many of the things that traditionally we assess people on, that we measured people on as metrics for success or metrics we look for, whether it's college and things like that, what does it mean now if AI can, oh, we, we're been there, done that. We're now moving on to what can you do? Show me how you can build a business. Show me how you can go and create a new product. Show me your marketing strategy. Show me all the things that you can do, not just the things that you know.